Okay, joining Zoom uh, is an easy process. Once you've clicked on the link, uh, depending on what type of device you're using, uh, you will be asked to install uh, a little piece of software. If you're on your phone, you'll need to install the app. If you're on a Windows machine, there's a little download that you will install, uh, and the directions are pretty simple. And here on a Chromebook, uh, it's going to ask you to install it from your Chrome Web Store. Uh, generally, once you've done this once, you shouldn't have to do this again. So. Uh, I've already clicked on a, a meeting uh, link, and I'm going to go ahead and click on install from Chrome Web Store. And this is going to install a little app and then an extension uh, so that uh, it can activate the, the video. So I'm going to click here. It pops up. Uh, Zoom.us is the right place. Click Add to Chrome. Make sure any time that it get, asks for permission, you just go ahead and click Yes. And, see here it's downloaded it onto my Chromebook real quick and then it will install it after a few seconds. Okay and this is what pops up. Uh, this is the actual Zoom app. Uh, it's going to ask you to log in and uh, you can either join a meeting just anonymously but most of your meetings are going to require you to log in. So I'm going to click sign in and you're going to want to sign in with your Google even though we're using an SSO it works uh, pretty seamlessly if you click sign in with Google might ask you what Google account you want to use. Uh, if you're on our SSO system, it also might ask you to uh, sign in twice. So I'm going to go ahead and log in uh, with my school email. And uh, if it asks you for a password, of course, do that. Sometimes it will ask you to do it twice here. And the second one is without your full email. And this is where you're going to go ahead and type in uh, your password. Okay, here I am. I'm logged in. Now, here's where it throws you off a little bit. You don't actually want to start a meeting. Uh, you want to join a meeting. And that's where uh, you have that meeting code that was given to you. So if you go back over here uh, to your original meeting code, it looks like uh, you're trying to get into this meeting, but you're really not. You need to use the app. So I remember my original meeting code that I wanted to use uh, had a code of 92236 uh, with a 78 number. Now it's easier a lot of times to just go click on your original link. And what will happen is it will re-bring up your uh, app here and log you in. This is the first time set up from now on. It should put you right into here real quick. And this is where you can see anybody else in your uh, group. Uh, you can see the gallery view of everybody else within your group, uh, as well as some tools down here to be able to share your desktop or share different desk uh, applications with everybody else. Uh, the phone app has additional uh, options such as a whiteboard option and things like that. Right now I'm currently not sharing my audio, but if I were to go ahead and turn on uh, my audio uh, by unmuting it, uh, the other people in this group would be able to hear me and I can even start my video. And that would make it so that my video uh, is being broadcast out as well. When I'm ready to end the meeting, I just click leave. Uh, since I'm not hosting the meeting, I'm just acting as a participant. Uh, the meeting doesn't end. It just will uh, be there without me uh, because this other profile, also of me, uh, is actually running the meeting. Hopefully that gives you a good overview of what it's like when someone sends you a Zoom invitation meeting and the initial setup to be able to view and participate in that meeting.